distinguished delegate, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm very honored and pleased to participate in this important international meeting which has relevant timely team, skill for resilience. Cambodia is a home to a large youth population in the Southeast Asia region. One of five Cambodians are between the age of 15 and 24, and almost two-thirds of population are under the age of 30. Therefore, building a resident youth and framework as is an unprecedented task and part of the royal government of Cambodia priority. In 2017, the government of Cambodia joined force with Judido in an initiative that directly contributes to such priority the program for country partnership or PCP. The program supports Cambodia in several cross-cutting areas of industrial development that help the country prosper, being one of them youth employment. Unido CPC, Cambodia is an important strategy to help our workforce strive against disruption. Unido decent employment for youth in Cambodia program is another initiative that assists Cambodia youth to become more resilient. It assures that youth women and men are able to meet labor market demand and have access quality employment opportunity. Through this program, the Cambodian youth is better equipped to deal with unexpected challenge. In the last decade, Cambodia has achieved remarkable progress in reducing poverty and boosting shared prosperity. Global events such as the LKDF Forum are important initiative to ensure continuous effort to keep on advancing our growth while identify the skill need for a more resilient workforce. Cambodian has put in place a number of strategies in response to the challenge to promote skill, capacity and productivity as well as social protection in order to further strengthen competitiveness, advance national economic diversification, ensure high growth enhance better employment creation and to increase income in stable and inclusive manner, including the avoidance of any risk and other adverse effects that may expectedly occur. Some of the key policies including the Cambodia Industrial Development Policy 2015-2025, National Employment Policy 2015-2025, Technical and Vocational Education Training Policy 2017-2025, Strategy Framework and Program for Economic Recovery and Promote Cambodia Economic Growth in Living with COVID-19 in the New Normal for 2021-2023, Policy on Labour migrant Migration 2019-2023 uh, and finally Cambodia Digital Economic and Social Policy Framework 2021-2035. At the same time, the Ministry of Labour and Educational Training has also been advancing the implementation of the Strategy Plan for Labour Development and Vocational Training 2019-2023, especially the key strategy number two under the strategic plan, which entitled Modernization of the Technical and Vocational Training Education and Training System in order to build a labor force equipped with a clear set of skills, creative and high competitiveness, and are able to respond to the labor market demand, both 
domestically and regionally. The royal government of Cambodia has considered the development of technical and vocational education and training system to be high priority of the national policy framework and has been investing substantially in, in, the, in this sector and effort to keep up with uh, ambition for socio-economic development, a rapid technological change and the labor market as well as the high expectation of the people for obtaining good employment and better living standard by ensuring that any youth has at least one skill for life. Ladies and gentlemen, to conclude, I would like to encourage all stakeholders and policy makers present here today to discuss and develop framework that help boosting residents in Cambodia and beyond. I encourage discussion and exchange of you so we can build back better in a resilient manner. Thank you very much.